Let's talk about brands. First of all, a brand is not a logo, and here's why. The term logo is short for logotype. Design speak for a trademark made from a custom lettered word, but the term logo caught on with people because it sounds cool. Logo. But what people really mean is a trademark. Whether the trademark is a symbol, a logo, a monogram, emblem, or other graphic. For example, IBM uses a monogram, Nike uses a symbol, and both of these are trademarks, but neither of these are logos. Now, this can get a bit confusing, but what really matters here is that a logo or any other kind of trademark is not the brand itself, it's merely a symbol for it. So what exactly is a brand? We don't need to think about logos or symbols here. We need to think about what the brand is in a person's gut feeling. And their gut feeling about a product, service, or company is what a brand is. Because we're all emotional, intuitive beings despite our best efforts to be rational. Because in the end, the brand is defined by individuals, not by companies, markets, or so-called general public. For example, the perspective of Tesla can be, in one's mind, an environmentally friendly company, while in another person's mind it could be a world-destroying capitalist mega-company, destroying the earth for its resources. Each person creates his or her own version of what the company is, and while companies can't control the process, they can influence the brand by communicating the qualities that make their product different from another product. And when enough individuals arrive at the same gut feeling, a company can be said to have a brand. In other words, a brand is not what you say it is, it's what they say it is. A brand is a kind of platonic ideal, a concept shared by society to identify a specific class of things. To use Plato's example, whenever we hear the word horse, we visualize a majestic creature with four legs, a long tail, and a mane falling over a muscular neck an impression of power and grace, and the knowledge that a person could ride long distances on its back. Now, individual horses may differ, but in our minds we still recognize the common horseness. And on the other side of the equation, when we add up the parts that make a horse, the total is distinctive enough that we think horse, not cow or bicycle. So a brand, like Plato's horse, is an approximate, yet it's distinctive. It's an understanding of a product, service, or company. To compare a brand with its competitors, we only need to know what makes it different. Brand management is the management of differences, not as they exist on a data sheet, but as they exist in the minds of people. This video is based on the book, The Brand Gap. If you wanna learn more about branding in an interesting way, check out the book in the description below.